This is an improper fraction, which means the top is larger than the bottom. We're going to change it to the mixed number, which means it's going to be a whole number and a fraction used together as one amount. So we normally read this as 13 divided by 4. So that division symbol and a fraction are the same thing. So we're going to rewrite that using the long division symbol. So we're going to do 13 divided by 4. So we have, we know that 4 can go into 13 3 times because 3 times 4 is going to give us 12. So we're going to subtract 12 and we're going to get a remainder of 1. So that remainder is 1 out of 4 pieces that are left. So 3 and 1 fourth is our answer. Now you could also do that by regrouping. So if we have fourths, remember what we're doing fourths is we have a group of four. One, two, three, four. So this is a group of four. And we write it as four fourths. So now to regroup it, our way, one we want to do it is if we have one group, we have four pieces in it. If we have two groups, we have two groups of four. So this is eight pieces. We started out with 13 pieces. We used up eight, so we can make two. If we were going to make a third one, this would be three groups of four. So that would give us 12 pieces. Again, we started with 13 pieces. We used up 12, so we're good. To make a fourth one, we would have four groups of four, which means we'd have 16. Here's where we run into our problems. We started out with 13. We don't have enough to make this one. So this won't work. But we do know we have one, two, three holes. And we need to, but we can't forget about that last one. So we know we started with 13 pieces and we used up 12 pieces to make up our three holes. And then we have one piece left over. So that's one out of fourth. And you will note it is the same thing as what we came in over here. So three and a fourth when we did that, three and a fourth. And the reason why this problem is the same problem as we just did there.